Hey man, so, it's your boy DRJ, man. I'm back with another video, man. I got a special guest with me. Got him in the Discord. Say what's up. What's up, guys? All right, man. Y'all already know, man. Me and him about to do the pretty boy Fredo. What you think about this pretty boy Fredo? You think he a scam for real? Mm -hmm. No, uh, I don't think he really is. I think he a scam, bro. He had him sleeping on mattress on the floor, I heard. Um, but like I always say, man, make sure you guys hit that like, comment, subscribe. And like I always say, man, let's get to the video. So today, I'm about to go right here. Where is it at? Um, um, hold on, hold on, yeah. I gotta just go right here, yo. Where's that image? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go right here. I'm about to remove me. Yeah, yeah. I'm remove that real quick. All right, now we're about to go straight to the video. All right, man, we're watching this from Pierce. Here's the kid, yeah. the dark truth about Pretty Boy Fredo. What? All right, man, let's get to the video now. You ready? Are you ready for it, Eric? I'm ready. All right, let's go. Boy Fredo, and this is me. Recently, I lived with Pretty Boy Fredo in his house for over a month and joined his content group, SSA. And right after I did, he actually ended up getting exposed. My DMs are getting flooded with people asking me questions about my side of the story. So today, I'm going to be exposing everything with Pretty Boy Fredo. All right, Ooh. so I really didn't want to make a video about this because um, I just find internet beef stupid to begin with. But at this point, everyone in their moms is making an exposed video. It doesn't even matter if you know Fredo. So I've kind of been forced in this situation to make a video on my side of the story about living with pretty boy fredo for over a month i just i find it weird because i'm not one to be glazing another grown man but i wasn't gonna make an exposed video till i saw these numbers these exposed videos are doing like 100k like let me keep it a buck with you i'm only doing this for views and i think i should talk about it too because because just associating with fredo has cut so many ties with these youtubers for example ddg he was calling me gay for no reason about to kiss him and shit. wow kissing people wow anywhere in a shiesty what you think about this eric you think he gay? <laughs> so him kissing no, another dude. Hold on. So him kissing another dude is. Oh yeah. Oh okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, you're different. You're different. All right. Let's get back to the video. Yeah. But yeah, basically, if y'all do not know who I am, I'm Pierce. I was an SSH member at one point, and I lived with Pretty Boy Fredo at one point, which is absolutely insane to say. Basically, me and Fredo met because he hosted this game show house that was supposed to do really big numbers. <laughs> that shit got like 200K. But yeah, basically, we met off the reality game show house. Everything was chilling. Six months later, he started posting the reality game show house, and I didn't think anything of it. And I'm gonna be honest, none of y'all were actually messing with me at the time. Like, all the comments were like, bro, this white kid is corny as fuck. Half of the comments were basically saying, who invited Sid the Sloth on this game show house? So six months down the line after everything happens, the game hold show on, house- Hold on, hold on, Sid the Sloth? <laughs> you think he looks like Sid the Sloth? Do you think he looks like Sid the Sloth, Eric? Yes. He does? Yes. <laughs> the picture, hold on, let me go back, y'all. The picture that he pulled up, bro, had me so weak, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, you can go out with it. Uh, we can go back right here, y'all. Yeah. Which is absolutely insane to say. Basically, me and Fredo met because he hosted this game show house that no, was supposed to do really funny. big numbers. <laughs> that shit got like 200K. But yeah, basically, we met off the reality game show house. Everything was chilling. Six months later, he started posting the reality game show house, and I didn't think anything of it. And I'm going to be honest, none of y'all were actually messing with me at the time. Like, all the comments were like, bro, this white kid is corny as fuck. Half of the comments were basically saying, who invited Sid the... <laughs> You see them? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. But Sid Slav got a long neck though, so I, I can get where they're coming from, but no, he don't really look like Sid Slav. His teeth is actually straight. But his eyeballs a little wide. <laughs> Let's get back to the video. Sloth on this game show house. So six months down the line after everything happens, the game show house is releasing. Fredo actually calls me up. I want you to participate in Vlogmas. I'm going to fly you out to New York and you're basically going to live with me for a month and we're going to create content. Just from hearing that, you probably think I'm a groupie. I'm not a groupie. I know this sounds like I'm a group, but I'm going to be honest. In my mind, I thought it was going to be a good opportunity for me to expand myself, make content with other people. And mm -hmm. also, bro, I've never been to New York City and he lives in this big penthouse that he's advertising. Two million dollar penthouse. So I was ready to, you know, live the absolute rock star lifestyle Fredo lives. Like, bro, I grew up my dreads, you know, I was ready to, you know. Since I grew up my dreads, do you see the, the marks he had? 
Eric, did you see the marks he had on his head? No. <laughs> Oh, shake oh my, my dreads while, you know, riding the Lamborghini because, cause, you know, Fredo is 30 years old thinking he got signed to Opium. Like, bro, you're a YouTuber. Basically, I get to the penthouse and it's all like surrounded in a rich neighborhood. I'm excited as hell. I get out of the Uber, go into his little penthouse. I dab up Fredo and I'm moving my stuff, right? And then I realize, bro, this penthouse has no furniture at all. Bro, he what? has two... $200,000 penthouse and you have no furniture? Yeah, no way. There's no way. You gonna live there, Eric? Uh, $200,000 penthouse in New York City, and you have no furniture. Well, I would get, I would get some furniture. You're right, but at, then at the same time, you sleeping on cold floor. That's wild. Let's get back. I know. That's wild. But let's get back to it, man. Dags in the living room, and while he's trying to guide me to the room I'm sleeping at, I look in his room, and bro is sleeping on a mattress in the floor. You can get a bed frame on Amazon for a hundred dollars. Like, how does bro have a mattress on the floor, but has a twelve thousand dollar Balenciaga coat laying right beside? How does that make sense? So basically, he points me to my room. I go in there. It's just a hardwood floor. Like, I wish I was kidding when I said this. And no, what makes it worse is there was another room, too, that uh, Keyshawn and Dariano called before us because we got there kind of late. It was just a mattress on the floor, too. But that's besides the point. I get there, everything's chilling. So two hours pass by, and Fredo goes to do something. I don't know what he goes to do, but he then texts Keyshawn, and he's like, yo, bro, get ready to make this video. So I'm like, okay, bet. What, what video are we about to make, Keyshawn? Fredo texts Keyshawn, he's like, make sure to act like this, and then sends one of his old videos. And then this is when me and Keyshawn looked at each other and were like, Bro, this shit is fake. But bro, if y'all do not understand this by now, mm. all of Pretty Boy Fredo's videos are absolutely fake. So the first day we did the girlfriend video, those were hired actors. Apparently, mm. I was dating this bad Latina girl. Like, absolutely insane. I wish I was dating her. And also, uh, she said... So I wish I was dating her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I have a favorite butt plug, which is not true. Same. I actually have a favorite deal. Yeah, basically, mm. th that whole video... What did you say? The stream. Yeah, it's not showing. Oh no, y'all. You're not showing it. Let me stop it and then do it again. Okay. Can you see it now? Yeah, there you go. All right. Let's get back to it, y'all. Video fake. I have no type of ex in New York. Obviously, I do not. So after we make no this active video, right? I get with the black girl. Mm -hmm. Finally, I, my life has changed. I noticed Fredo kind of got into an altercation with a female, one of the actors, and she was like, "Why didn't you pay my friend? She is pregnant. She needs the money." I'm like, "Bro, what is happening?" And then I overhear him saying something about how Malik was the reason he didn't pay her. That's when I started to realize, bro, I messed up by coming down here. So after Fredo convinced the actor that she sick of all the ads is, like this is he talking about uh, just head to adskiller.com click on activate now i guess so she was gonna get paid which she never did and fredo then it's like hey boys i got y'all food but this is gonna last the week and bro i shit you not when i say this he brought rice crispy treats a box of chips and then a 12 pack of ramen noodles and he said okay, this is who is what this? the heck who is this <laughs> hold on let me see when this video was bro four days ago Four days ago. I never seen a video that he did that. Well, ramen, oh, you that, bro? I can get my, okay. It's gonna last a week. Make no sense. Four days straight, bro. Where have you been sleeping? So we're like, okay, bet. We cook up the ramen noodles while we're cooking. Fredo orders DoorDash, two bags worth of DoorDash for himself. Like, bro, and this food is like from a five-star restaurant. It's fish I can't even pronounce. And then this man has the audacity just to eat it in front of us. And that's when I kind of realized, I was like, bro, Fredo is not who he seems to be. But then the next day rolls out. And then this man, Fredo, randomly calls us and he's like, hey, we're not making the athlete video today. We're making Cam getting a Corvette today. So I'm over here like, damn, Cam really is about to get a Corvette. Like, holy shit. Like, bro, Fredo really got money. Like, so then they pull up in this Corvette. It's orange and stuff like that. I'm like, damn, this is really a nice Corvette. Like, Fredo really got money. Like, so bam, we have to fake a video like Cam just got that Corvette. And it was absolutely fake and I had to participate in it. Me and Keyshawn did not want to participate. 
participated at all. Cam, I guess, was okay with it because he was getting a whole video to himself. So basically, we make this Corvette video and we get to drive it around and everything like that. But then it gets to the point where it's the end of the night. And then Cam goes, hey, can y'all cash at me for the Corvette? I was like, what do you mean, bro? He's like, bro, this is a rented Corvette. I pay for it. So I was like, wait, 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 hold on. Huh? Yeah. You seen that too? Yeah. Rented a Corvette, told him it was for a video, and faked the video, and then he says, can you guys send me the money? This Corvette is rented. Are you serious, pretty boy? Pretty boy, Fredo broke. That's wild. And now you got this, this guy on here talking mad crap about that. That's crazy. That's crazy. And you got him sleeping on the floor, eating Rice Krispie Treats, noodle cups. In a two hundred thousand dollar penthouse, crazy, bro. And he got a over maybe a million, two million dollar Balenciaga coat right next to his bed. Boy, if you gonna turn that money back in and get y'all some real food? What would you do? What would you do, Eric? I would. I would just say, just uh, fuck it. What uh? Would you? Hold on, would you turn in his uh, Balenciaga coat to get some uh, money to get some food for the crib? Or would you just let him have his coat? Uh, sell it. Sell it, right. Let's get back to the video, though. Fredo didn't pay for this. It's his video that he mainly made from it. He probably made over a thousand dollars from this one video. And Cam was like, "No, bro, please, just I really need this money." Fredo kind of effed me over with this. Like, bro, he literally made us cash app Cam one hundred and fifty dollars for Fredo's own video while recording the Cam Corvette video that was a rented Corvette that we had to pay for. He was doing his little flex video, and there was a man just like, "Hey, bro, can I get a picture in front of the car? It's a cool ass car." He looks at the kid and basically goes, "Back the fuck up, or I kill you." Fredo, you're not shooting. Shit. I have more of a chance of shooting. Than you, bro. So then the third day rolls around, boys, and this is when videos started getting posted, and people in the comments absolutely love me. Like, bro, people saw me get with this black girl, and people are like, this is what Martin Luther King died for, W. Pierce. But yeah, after this, Fredo kept on trying to get me more screen time than I actually wanted. Like, bro would randomly point the camera on me, and just, it would just be kind of awkward, because I was like, I don't want to, like, force me saying something funny. Like, it, it, it will come when it comes. So fast forward after that, boys, basically this whole week's over with. I'm ready to go the f*** home, because I realized Fredo is not who he seems to be he didn't pay the actors i was sleeping on the floor barely was getting fed keep in mind we're in manhattan in new york like we're literally in new york city to go outside and get food you go to the local deli it costs 15 dollars for a sausage egg and cheese so for me to get breakfast every day for that whole week i stayed there which i did it cost me over a hundred dollars and keep in mind i was getting one sandwich only like before we recorded videos and everything like that he would take us out to breakfast and he would force us to pay like for ourselves usually thinking he would be like the millionaire he is he would pay for the people he invited down here which he didn't all right it's whatever so you make him pay for his own food and you made him come down here that's crazy yes yeah let's say i want to so i want to see proof that he actually... we go we gonna search up something after this i'm gonna search up and see what's going on see what pretty boy fredo on then we gonna end the video but i'm gonna fit we gonna finish the rest of this see what what else he gotta say about pretty boy fredo and his experience and then we go i'm gonna search up some stuff because homeboy should not be broke I, I think he's broke too. You think he's broke? I don't think he's broke. I do not think. So. I just think he's selfish. That's what that is. Selfish. I watch, all, I watch all his videos since day one. Okay, well, let's get back to the video. Like, you got to keep in mind, we are 18 years old. Like, me and Keyshawn, we're 18 years old. We don't have money like that to spend every day. But this man did not care. He was just focusing on himself. But yeah, Hold on. They 18 years old? Who? He's eight. Hold on. I swear he said he was 18 years old. Then why in the back? Yeah, I'm going to remind him back to 649. So, usually thinking he would be like the millionaire he is, he would pay for the people he invited down here, which he didn't. All right. It's whatever. Though. Like, you got to keep in mind, we are 18 years old. Like me. 18 years old. He said he was 18 years old. I'm older. Yes. I'm older than him. Definitely not me. He's fake. <laughs> it is what it is.
Hey, Keyshawn, we're 18 years old. We don't have money like that to spend every day. But this man did not care. He was just focusing on himself. But yeah, basically, fast forward. We went to the mall in New York as a group. Fredo wasn't there, obviously. He was editing his video. And basically, I saw one of my ops. So, you know, I had to let it loose. I'm kidding. Basically, we got caught for trespassing. Really, really not that interesting. But yeah, basically, we're in the jail cell for eight hours getting booked, everything like that. It was taking so long. We're there till probably one in the morning, right? So basically, we get released. I'm mad because we I literally just got arrested. Like, bro, I'm a suburban white kid. Like, if my mom finds out, I'm I'm grounded from the video games for a week. But at the end of the day, I was like, okay, hey, because my mom doesn't know. Fredo's was probably not posting anything about it. He's probably worried about us right now. He's probably worried where we are right now. And then I check my phone and see I have like 50 missed calls from my mom and hella people text me like, yo, you're in jail. Yo, you're in jail. And I was like, how do people know this? And then I found out this man, Fred, he posted over like 10 stories about us going to jail. And not only that, he edited the video that he edited yesterday to include the part of us getting arrested. Like, keep in mind, that video was recorded yesterday and was about to post, but Fredo canceled it and then edited us getting arrested in there and that's when i 100 percent realized bro i was like fredo is just a clout hungry demon i was like bro i'm pretty sure he's not a millionaire at this point he's trying to live a life that basically bro is just not meant to live and keep in mind while we were in the jail cell i'll tell y'all a little bit of this this is when i learned half the squad that rolls with fredo does not even rock with fredo keep in mind me and Keyshawn were new to the ssa squad but the people that were there already while we were in the jail cell talking i realized that no one likes fredo that rock he just hangs around a bunch of yes men like the people that rocked with fredo for over six plus years now just talking shit casually behind his back and then this is when i realized why he fell off because he doesn't have someone in the corner telling him no hey bro you shouldn't scam your editor for ten thousand. hey no bro you shouldn't do this and that but yeah basically we go back to his penthouse of course he doesn't even care about us he, he whips out the camera instantly as soon as we get there what happened bro what happened as you can see in the video i'm like bro don't even talk about it but cam's over here like hey bro this happened and i'm like bro cam you're the one that was complaining earlier what the f so i was just like bro i'm out I booked my plane ticket home. I told Fredo I was leaving. He's like, bro, come on. That's going to ruin the whole motion. I'm like, bro, what motion? We're getting 100K a video on your 6 million subscriber YouTube channel. It's only your motion. You're not paying me. You're not doing anything. Like, I'm basically becoming a content manager for this dude for free. But yeah, basically, that's when I fully cut off Fredo, to be honest. I was like, bro, I do not mess with Fredo. But I never blocked his number or anything like that because he still owed me money. I literally went to the store for him and got him a $100 table and like an $85 camera lens that he never paid me back for. So I was waiting for him to pay me. So I kept on texting. He didn't respond for like over three days after i left but then he started texting me he completely ignored that i needed money and he's like hey bro can you please come back i'll pay you and also why would i trust the dude to pay me a thousand five hundred when you haven't paid me my 250 back for this table and shit and then this man Keyshawn left and went live on instagram he basically just started clowning on fredo i think this is when fredo realized oh shit i can't scam people like i used to anymore send me the money i've been texting him for over two weeks about but boys basically i probably lost over three thousand dollars in just like five days of being in new york with fredo and keep in mind i am a college student like i don't have racks on top of racks like fredo apparently does but yeah i'm pretty sure this is the end of fredo's career after this like everyone's making exposed videos it's it's getting really bad make sure to comment r.i.p fredo in the comment section below and i'm out this is pretty boy fredo nah, that's crazy that, that's crazy y'all hear that now we're gonna search up what you what you want me to search up pretty boy fredo net worth for 2020 22. That's crazy, man. Shout out to this boy, Pierce the Kid. Thank you for giving us some information about him, man. It says, December 22nd, Pretty Boy Fredo has net worth over $3 million. The wealth has been generated from his years. So you got over $3 million and you can't pay for their food? That, that's crazy. That's what that's crazy to me, man. I don't know. That's just I don't know how you can do that, bro. How can you manage that to happen? How can you manage that to happen and then can't afford it? It's crazy. You still there, Eric? I think Eric left. <laughs> But y'all, man, I ain't gonna edit this video because it's only a reaction, man. But y'all know how it is, man. 7.36 million subscribers, and you can't pay for people's meals. I don't know how this can go, man. Hopefully, this video blow up. Y'all come subscribe to your boy. Show your boy some love. Like I always say, man, it's your boy DRJ, and we out.